Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your mid-month reading for July of 2021. Yeah, your mid-month check-in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, guys, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross-watcher, whatever. Just fit it into your life as it fits. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It's very, very nice to meet you. All right, guys. I just want to jump right into this here um, uh, and talk about what could be happening for you mid-month. Yes, I have a pre-shuffle here for you. Aries, you are showing up in your own reading, okay? Um, you, you, you have the Emperor here. The Emperor is crossing the Six of Cups energy. So there's something about the past right now that you're struggling with, that you're at odds with, or you may be having trouble with. What I'm feeling for you, Aries, is there's something there is an element to the past or there is something about, there's something in your present. What, okay, I'm sorry. What I'm hearing for you, Aries, is the future, okay? And it, it, it either, either you are up against something from the past, you're facing something from the past, or there's something from the past that is holding you back in terms of moving forward in the future here. So it feels like you're future oriented, Aries, at least to a certain extent. You're, you're working on manifesting and moving forward with your future, but there's something that you have to deal with in the past right now that could be standing in the way or creating some sort of blockage for you, okay, in moving forward. You have that with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Swords. Yeah, underneath the Four of Swords is the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups to the world. It, Aries, it feels like there's something here that you're needing to let go of or put to a rest, put to a close. There's something about the past that you have to, like, stop. What I'm hearing is stop focusing on so intently or... Stop raging about it. That's what this Five of Wands energy could be. Um, there's, there's something from the past that is holding you back from moving forward. And what I feel like right now, Aries, is you're needing to focus on or face the past and deal with, it, deal with it in some way or let it go in some way or process it in some way in order to bring it to an end so that you can have a clear emotional value and clear emotional space Maybe even a clear connection with your inner child, page of cups to the sun, to the wheel of fortune. You have to let this go. You have to bring this to an, a close, Aries. Whatever this past situation is for you that you're facing right now, look at this. The emperor is literally facing the past, looking back on the past. This could either be the fact that, you know, you're looking, past, you're looking at it right now in, a, in an effort to deal with it, to process it, maybe to handle it or to heal it. Or for some of you, I am feeling pretty strongly, pretty distinctly that you're looking back at this past circumstance in such a way that it is causing a hindrance for you moving forward and you're needing to close it out, the world, in order for you to have a clear emotional reality, to clean up some sort of emotional content and bring some sort of brightness, some sort of illumination, happiness, victory, so that things can change. But I feel like there is an intent energy here of looking back on the past and raging over it, stewing over it, um, holding on to it somehow and not wanting four of cups, not wanting to let it go. But it's this very thing that is keeping you from manifesting the abundance or the life that you want. And you have to meditate on that. You have to look at that with intentions to understand it, heal it, and let it go, and not let it bother you any longer. Okay, Aries, <laughs> that was just your pre-shuffle. Um, I want to get deeper into this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset here. Justice. I swear, Aries, I'm not making this up, and I'm not trying to, like, to come down on you or to sound harsh with you or to get you to this point where it's just like, bitch, you need to suck it up and move the fuck on. No, that's not what I'm saying, Aries. But what the universe is saying to you is in order to bring justice into your life in terms of this, Aries, you have got to walk away from it. You've got to leave the past behind you. Stop carrying it everywhere with you. 
because that is hindering your growth. It's exactly what I'm hearing. And I swear to you guys, I am resonating with this too, so you are not alone, okay? This is this damn near should be one, this should be a message for me. And it probably is a message for me. Spirit is saying to me, Eric, your channel is for you too. Yeah, okay. And I was born in Aries in terms of sidereal astrology, which is what I practice here. If you're new to me, and whenever I do astrological things, I look at it from sidereal astrology. And the sun was in Aries when I was born. Two of cups, five of wands. Some of you are dealing with a partnership, a past relationship circumstance that has got you at odds. This could be family. Um, <clears throat> this could, it, it doesn't have to be romantic. The two of cups can represent any sort of interpersonal relationship. The exchanging of emotion, care, compassion, concern, blah, 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 between two individuals. And it doesn't just have to be two individuals. It could be multiple individuals, but like whatever. There's some sort of inter interpersonal situation here that is causing this flare up. And that's where the justice needs to be brought in. But Aries, in order to bring this justice in, you have got to walk away from it. Stop, I, I literally just heard, stop recreating the past. And you're recreating the past by identifying with it so hard. I don't even know how else to say it to you other than by identifying with it so hard. That doesn't mean that you don't that doesn't mean that the circumstances that you've been through in the past haven't helped to shape the person for, to who you are now, for better or for worse, right? But that does not have to define you any longer. It's the, it's the, it's the element of, of, of vibing so hard with it, Aries, that it, it's, it's becoming a, a way of defining yourself at this point. And that's not who you are any longer. That was the past. That's why spirit is saying, leave the past behind you. Leave the past where it is. Stop carrying it with you as you move forward because that is hindering your process. Whatever this process is for you, your growth, your manifestations, whatever, whatever. Stop carrying the past with you, all right? I'm gonna give this five shuffles and we're gonna get into the rest of this for you, yeah? One. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what mid-month messages do we have for Aries? This is two. This is three for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Definitely make sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and maybe even your Venus sign. But definitely, this is four. Definitely your Sun, Moon, and Rising to get a full picture as to what these messages could really mean for you. Yeah, this is five. All right, Aries. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. <laughs> All right. Overall energy for you, Aries. We've got the devil. Aries. This is it. The chains and the binds that hold you back. All right, look. I'm stopping myself right now because I was really about to get real deep and real personal. But I don't need to do that. To the extent that I was going to. I don't know why, but spirit... Spirit was stopping me. Whenever I'm doing something or I'm about to do something or I'm thinking about something and I'm do, uh, it, it, that I really shouldn't be doing or shouldn't be thinking about, blah, 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 it's a whatever, I get this weird tingly feeling in my back and it's not painful, it's just irritating. And I was just, and I literally heard myself saying, I'm about to get real personal and real real with you right now. And Spirit was like, whoa, Eric, pull back. You don't have to go that far. Okay, that's fine. But what the devil is, is showing or what I'm feeling for the devil here is your attachment to the anger, your attachment to the fear, your attachment to the pain. It's a comfort zone energy, Aries. And again, I'm not trying to come down on you. I'm not trying to judge you. I'm not trying to tell you you're, you're, you're an immature, self, 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 like selfish, narcissistic piece of shit. Like, I'm not trying to tell you all that, and neither is spirit. But you're identifying with your pain in a way that is not healthy for you at this stage or at least any longer. The devil. Okay? And I understand. And the reason why I was about to get so personal is because I know this very, very well. This is something that I used to do as a kid. But I used to be... I used to be so comfortable with the anger and with the pain of 
childhood and growing up that whenever I started to feel it, I sat in it and I fueled it even more. Number one, because it felt good, but number two, it's because I was what I was, it was what I was used to. It's really the only constant thing I knew. Pain and anger, emotional pain and anger. Lots and lots of anger, okay? But that was only hurting me in the end because instead of focusing on it in order to feel it and heal it, I was focusing on it in order to perpetuate it because it helped me feel powerful when, when all I felt was complete powerlessness, okay? That's why you have the devil here. It's not, it's, it's the chains that bind you, Aries, the chains that bind you. And you are keeping yourself chained to this by consciously choosing to focus on the past the way you are or the way you have been, which is effectively causing you to carry it with you everywhere you go instead of focusing on it to feel it, heal it, and release it and to grow from it and be a better person or live a better life, manifest a better life, whatever, than you had in the past. I hope this is making sense. The chains that bind you, okay? Underneath the devil, you have the queen of wands. Underneath the queen of wands is the five of wands. And then underneath the five of wands is the tower. The queen of wands represents the alignment that your soul, your higher self, your guides, spirit, God source, creator, your ancestors, your, your, your spirit guides, anything, whomever, those who support you, those who really love you, this is the alignment they want you to be in. The Queen of Wands doesn't have anything to do with gender. The Queen of Wands is confident, sexy, vibrant, charismatic, magnetic, okay? She represents the feminine principles here, which are reciprocity. Spirit wants you to be here, wants you to be in this state in this place, this energetic vibration that allows what it is you truly desire to come to you. But it can't happen, Aries. Five of Wands, because of the chains that bind you, the devil. And there is conflict. I get that. I get it, Aries. I get it. I'm here too. Okay? I'm literally, I'm recording this reading and spirit has, spirit has me doing the fire signs today. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, you are first. My sun sign in terms of sidereal astrology is, is Aries. Aries, I am right here with you on the very day that I'm recording this reading. All right? I get it. I'm, I'm getting emotional. All right? Just be, just, I'm doing my best, but I'm getting emotional because I get it, Aries. I'm right here with you. This is stopping us from moving forward the chains that bind us, that we are choosing to wear, Aries. The, the devil never, ever has power over you unless you consistently hand that power to the devil. We have got to stop doing that, okay? Woo! The tower to the sun, Aries, is at the bottom of the deck. Whatever you need to release, whatever needs to be let go of at this time, Aries, is going to do nothing but bring greater blessings into your life. You have got to let this tower fall first. You've got to let go of this comfort zone. Yes, this may, you may have been able to grow or allow yourself to, 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 to shape shift, to fit into this comfort zone. I get that. And I completely understand why you would do that. It's a survival tactic. Excellent. But you don't need that any longer. Allow this to fall away. I understand, I understand that it's scary. I understand that it's going to leave you vulnerable in ways that you vowed you would never allow yourself to be vulnerable in ever again. But it's for your own good. You have got to release this comfort zone, okay? Okay, Aries, let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you. You have the Eight of Swords again. I, I'm going to be real with you, Aries. The Eight of Swords is saying, for lack of a better term, 
The Eight of Swords is saying, unfortunately, my love, you have only yourself to blame at this point because nobody is holding you here other than yourself. And I understand why. I understand why, Aries, but this is not helping you any longer. It helped at one point, yes, but you're not here. You're not in this state any longer, and yet you're holding yourself here because it's a learned behavior, because it's a comfort zone, because it's a pattern, be I, I, okay, because it's an, an addiction, okay? But you gotta let yourself free. You gotta free yourself from this. Eight of Swords is coupled with Ace of Pentacles. You could have a new reality. You could have a new start. You could have a new future if you just let this go. If you release yourself from this. Eight of Swords is self-imprisonment. Entrapped within your own mind. If you were to allow yourself out of prison areas, you would get so much more of what you truly deserve. But you have to free yourself from it. Second set of surrounding areas, energies for you, Aries. There's the past again, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is coupled with, <laughs> fuck, the Four of Pentacles, dude. <clears throat> you are literally hunkered down in this energy. And again, I get it. But what I'm getting from this, Aries, is you built a fortress within here to protect yourself. But you have outgrown this fortress. You are literally bursting through the windows and doorways of this for fortress, stuffing yourself into this tiny little box of a prison, or I should say prison of a box, in order to protect the person who you were back then. And I say that specifically because you are not that person any longer, Aries. Or at least you don't have to be. You gotta let the past go. Your challenge. As if this wasn't challenging enough. Oh, okay. Your challenge, Aries. Fuck. Fuck, Aries. <laughs> Holy shit. Your challenge is the Eight of Cups. Walking away. The Eight of Cups is coupled with the Two of Cups. Uh, this either is a current relationship or this is a past relationship. For some of you I'm hearing, this is your relationship with your mother. The challenge is walking away from it. Closing message of potential outcome is the seven of wands. See, this is why you don't need this energy any longer, Aries. Actually, let me take this with it. This is what, why you don't need this energy any longer. Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles, the Devil. You don't need this anymore, Aries, because you're not this person any longer. You're not in this energetic state any longer. You, Aries, can defend yourself now. For some of you, this is going all the way back to childhood. Okay. The earliest days of your existence. You can defend yourself. You are not this child any longer. I'm literally speaking to myself right now. You are not this child any longer. You don't have You don't have to feel this way any longer, Aries. Okay?
The Seven of Wands is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. You, you are so much stronger than you ever were before. You have done so much work on yourself. You are no longer that person. You can be free. And you can be free, Aries, because of the work you've done. Because of the self-mastery you lay claim to. Okay? You are not this person any longer. You are not that person any longer. You are someone brand new who is thriving unbeknownst to your own self. You don't even you don't even see Aries how much you are thriving in this world right now because you're so caught up in the past. And I get it. So we've gone from Sagittarius making me cry to Aries making me cry. But Aries, you're making me cry because this hurts. This hurts. This hits home, man. I get it. I fucking get it. Um... Um, I wasn't planning on doing this, Aries, but I'm going to get you, I want to get you closing guidance. We're going to use the lover's oracle, okay? Um, I want to show you something first, though. This just popped out. Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. But this is the relationship with yourself. Okay? All right. I want to get a closing message for you, Aries. Anything, any, a closing, I, I, but I'm using this deck specifically because I'm looking for words of encouragement for Aries. So words of encouragement, please, to close out this reading. Okay, some of you need to hear this. You have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Uh, you're not alone. You're not inadequate. You do... You are worthy of having a soulmate and being a partner, having a partner and being a partner to someone else. Divine timing is at hand here for that one, okay? Anything else? Just one more, please, Spirit. Just anything else that... Words of encouragement, closing message for Aries in this, in this crazy mid-month reading. There it is. Passion, a magnetic, a, magne a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys. You are my brothers and sisters, okay? And we're in this together. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>